became the Maungai after the 8th of November, but Tūru Manao became Te Whaite Katoa before Ratana received his Tūranga. And even before both of them, Arepa and Omeka, the children, received their Tūranga before the parents did. So, interesting Fano. Some of the other things to point out, I guess that as Ratana was going through his Whakamato Tūranga, Arepa was the one who would always hold the lanterns uh, in the night time when Ratana was continuing to do his mahi. So, a couple of awesome stories there. And as time got closer to Ratana's uh, Whakamato Tauranga period, um, Tilmika was used as the example to remind Ratana how important it is to be tika and puno on his Whakapuno. So, in one end, one of the children uh, supported his parents to be servants of Ihua, and the other child reminded them why they had to be servants of Ihua. So there was a little bit of a balance there. And so that's the story, Aerepa and Omeka. And it was pretty much the remind, uh, I guess, the early statements there, that ko Ihua, ko hau te Aerepa me te Omeka o ngā mea katoa. So that's the little corridor tonight, whānau. Uh, nice and easy. Uh, maybe tomorrow we'll, we'll look at a few other things. Maybe we'll have a bit of a quarter about Te Reo Hura. She's actually, she actually plays a huge role in terms of the story of the 8th of November. Because for a while, for a long time, there were differing stories in terms of what happened on the 8th of November. And she was our fifth Tumwaki. And basically she pretty much said, you know, all of these fellas say this about the 8th of November. They say that about the 8th of November. None of them know the story. I know the story because I was there. So that's a little bit of a preview to tomorrow, Fano. So, no reira. Namuna ki tanga, ui ho ngā mano, ki rungi a tātou katoa. Piki te ora, piki te ka, piki te maruma tanga, me te rangi maere tanga, ki rungi a tātou i ngā wā katoa. Ko te moangai te koutou toko, ai nei, ake nei, ai.